Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be solving Cambridge IGCSE ICT Specimen Paper 3 from the year 2023. Please note that from 2023 onwards, the duration of this paper is 2 hours 15 minutes. These are the files which we have to download for solving this paper. I have copied the files here. Task 1 is the evidence document. Create a new word process document. Make sure your name and details are inserted in the document. Save this document with the file name, specimen evidence followed by your candidate number. So let us open a new word document. Insert your details here in the header of the document, name, candidate number and center number. Save this as specimen evidence followed by your candidate number inside your folder. Task 2 web page. A trainee has started to create a web page and style sheet for Tavara Digital Storage. This must be suitable for uploading to a web server. Create a new folder called specimen underscore html. So let us create a new folder inside our working folder. You need to copy these files into this folder. So let us copy the files. These are the four files. Move them to this folder. Open the file specimen disk.jpg in a suitable application. Reflect the image horizontally. Save this image as disk1.jpg. So I'm using Photoshop to do the image editing. Open the image file. Open from your folder. This is the image specimen disk. Open it. We have to reflect this image horizontally. For that, go to image, image rotation, flip canvas horizontal. Now this has to be saved as disk1.jpg. So file, export, export as. Make sure the format jpg is selected. And the name must be disk1. Rotate the image disk1 90 degrees clockwise. And save this image as disk2 in your folder. Again, click on image, image rotation, 90 degree clockwise. And this has to be saved as disk2.jpg. Next, crop the image disk2.jpg so that all the solid state drive is visible with an equal amount of red background on each side. The, this image must be square. Do not distort the image. The hard disk must not be visible. Save this image as disk3.jpg. So we need to crop this part and then Make sure that we have equal amounts of red background on all the sides and it should be a square. So let us go to the crop tool and make sure you have selected square here so that we get a square image once we crop it. 
now select the square now adjust the image in such a way that there is equal amount of red background you can use this border and this border so that there is one grid on both sides and this point and this point is taken because the solid state drive is in a slanting position so one grid line is there and one grid line is here so there is approximately equal amount of red space on all sides so now let us crop it press enter save this as disk 3 so let us save this this tree save resize the image this tree to become 600 by 600 pixels and save this as specimen ssd dot jpg so in order to resize this go to image image size let us change this to 600 pixels width and height is change to 600 pixels give ok now let us save this the name is SSD So all the image editing is done. Display the contents of your specimen HTML folder showing the folder name, image dimensions, all file names, file extensions and file sizes. So this is your working folder. So in order to show all the details, right click, go to view, content. So that it shows all the file types, the sizes and the dimensions. Let us take a screenshot of this. This has to be placed in your evidence document. This is step two. The style sheet is not finished and contains a number of errors. You are going to edit the style sheet. Make sure that you use the most efficient methods. All color codes must be in hexadecimal. The styles H4, H5 and H6 do not need defining. Make sure that your style sheet contains no HTML. So let us open Microsoft Expression Web for the web authoring. Open the style sheet specimen style dot CSS. So you can see all the text is not in the proper format. Let us remove this. These are the specifications given for the new style sheet. So first let us start with the table style. For the table style you have the size must be 90% wide. That means the width must be 90% and the borders must not be collapsed. Now next one is the border width and the border color. 
So this is applicable for both the external as well as internal grid lines. So this has to be given together with the style TD because TD represents the table data and this is applicable for internal grid lines. So first let us do these two properties which is applicable for the table style. Click on format new style. for table first the width has to be given for setting the width click on position you can find here width select 90 percent next we have to give the borders not collapsed for that click on table border collapse must be set to separate not collapsed means separate give ok so the style for the table is given next you can see the border width is 2 pixel then the style is solid and border color is 808000 this is applicable for both table as well as TD because it's given here also so for both of them we can do together because both of them have the same styles. So go to format new style table comma td. The border should be solid. So select solid from here, the width 2 pixel and the color is, go to more colors, 80, 80 and 00. Give OK. So this is the color or you can type the color code directly here with the hash symbol. Give OK. Next is the cell padding for table data. Top is 8 pixels, bottom is 6, left and right is 20 pixels. So define TD. Click on box. You can see the cell padding here. It's not same, so deselect this. Top is 8 pixels, bottom is 6, right is 20, and left is also 20. Okay. Give OK. Next, all heading styles, the color is given as this blue is 0, red is FF and green is FF. And the font is given Times New Roman, otherwise Times or else the default serif font. All heading styles means from H1 to H3 only as they told H4, H5 and H6 are not needed. Go to format, new style. Let us define h1, comma h2, comma h3. The font is Times New Roman. If it's not available, Times. Otherwise, the default serif font. So you have to give this way, and. The color is red is FF, green is FF and blue is 0. So the RGB format, red is FF, green also FF and blue is 0.
Now next, the style H1 is 48 points high and the alignment is right. H1, the size is 48 point, 48, select point here and the alignment is right. So go to block, text align, set it as right. 48 points and alignment is right. Give OK. Next is H2 is 24 points high and H3 is 18 points high. This is 24 point and H3 is 18 point. Now we have to define a class called Cyan. And the property is color must be the given color here. So a class is actually a group of elements which has the similar properties. We can define any element inside a class. So the format of defining a class is like this. We have to add a period here or a dot at the beginning. Then the class name and then inside the brackets as usual the styles. So here let us define the style. So we have to start with a period or a dot and then give the name of the class that is cyan and then we have to define the property. So here the color is given as phone color is given as 00FFFF. So the color let us give hash 00 FF FF. Give OK. So this is our class. Place your name, center number and candidate number as a comment at the end of the style sheet. So in order to add a comment, we give slash star then give the comment that is your name and details and then end the comment with a star and slash save the style sheet in your folder with the file names specification style followed by your candidate number So you can see these are the properties which we have defined in the style sheet. So let us save this. It should be saved as specification style followed by your candidate number. Take a screenshot showing the content of your style sheet and place this in your evidence document. Make sure the contents are easy to read. So this is step 3. Go to your evidence document. Step 3. Let us take the screenshot. Select only the part which is required so that it is clear and readable.
open the web page specification webpage.htm in a suitable editing package so let's open it file open this is the web page replace the text a candidate with your name center number and candidate number let's go to the design view so this is the candidate details just change with your name your candidate number and center number attach the style sheet specification style 1 to this web page so let us attach you can see here attach style sheet option click on this select your folder and we have to attach specification style 1 open and then give ok so this is the style sheet attached attach the style sheet you edited in step 3 to your web page so that it has a higher priority than the style sheet specification style 1 so when you add it later the later one only has the highest priority so let us add the next style sheet select this give open ok save the web page save use the class created in your style sheet to set the color of the text Tavera digital storage to cyan so we have Tavera digital storage this is the text this we have to set as the class cyan so go to the code in the code we will change so a class is set using the span tag using the span tag this is used to set the class for an element so let us bring the ending tag here and specify the class name and give the class name as type here class and we have only defined one class here that is san this is this is the way we define the class for each element now you can see only for this text the color has been applied next place into appropriate section of the correct web development layer metadata to define the character set to utf8 metadata to include your name as the author of the web page and keywords to the given keywords so metadata is uh, some data which gives the information about your web page and this does not comes on the body of the web page because it's not displayed uh, on the web page so it will come under the head section whatever is not displayed on the body of the web page comes in the head section so let us define this with the meta tag so first let us go to the code this is the code so it has to be defined inside the head section because whatever we define inside the head section is not displayed on the web page so use the meta tag and the character set so we have this option character set it is given as utf8 utf8 so let's give that
Next is metadata to include your name as the author of the web page and the keywords to the given keywords Tavara, TDS, DVD and SSD. So the format of metadata or the attributes for metadata are given here. These are the attributes. Character set we had given with this attribute character set and other keywords all these types of data comes under the attribute name so we have to give the author inside name attribute and whatever is the author name has to be given in the content so let us give here the code for the author so name equal to author so the attribute is author so for this attribute your name has to be displayed so the content of this attribute so you have to select content and type your name here close the tag same way the keywords name equal to keywords the keywords has to be set as so select the content content is the given keywords they are Tavera TDS DVD and SSD since there are many words you can write it separated by comma Tavera TDS, DVD, SSD. Yes. And close the tag. So these are the codes which we have inserted under the head section for the metadata. Metadata is the data which gives information about your web page. Next, replace the text Im place image here in the web page with this image, which, which we have edited at step 1. Add appropriate alternate text to this image. So go to the design view of this page. Now place image here, you can see it has to be inserted here. So select this text, go to insert picture from file, open your folder. So this is the image which we had saved at step 1. So insert this and give appropriate alternate text SSD image, give ok. So this is the image save the web page display the web page in your browser take screenshot evidence and place this in your evidence document so save the web page and display this in your browser so click on file preview in browser so you can see this is the web page which is displayed here We have to take screenshot, make sure that all the page can be seen, all the text can be easily read and the address bar is fully visible. So now the page is not completely visible. So let's reduce the size. Now it is visible, the complete page is visible. So when you are taking the screenshot, please make sure the address bar is also included so let's take the screenshot
So this is your step seven web page. Step seven web page. Next, they have asked you to take a copy of the HTML source and place this in your evidence document. So the HTML source is the code. So select all the code, control A, copy. Step seven, HTML code. So the code is pasted here. So this is the end of the web page task. Next task is spreadsheet, which I'll be uploading soon. So if you like my video, please subscribe to my channel and wait for the upcoming videos. Thank you for now.